Hi, I'm Monica Flowers and I am a home stager with Rave Home Staging. Uh, today we are in front of the house that is on the schedule to be staged tomorrow and uh, what we're going to do today is walk you through the house, uh, give you an idea of uh, the process of previewing the home, uh, choosing the furniture, um, space planning and layout, and uh, we'll also go through a couple of um, hiccups that we may run into during that process, uh, taking measurements and things like that. So uh, if y'all are ready, let's go ahead. So um, a lot of buyers will walk straight into the living space and ask themselves, where am I going to put my sofa? Where am I going to put my television? So uh, with this space, you'll see that um, this is pretty much the best location to put the sofa. However, that would mean that if you wanted your sofa facing the television, the television would go above the fireplace. Now, this house has not been equipped with the correct connections to put the television over the fireplace. So another option would be to put a console on this wall. Even though the sofa will not be facing the television, having the sofa facing the fireplace, the emphasis of the room, will give them the idea that it can go either way. outlets on the wall in the kitchen um, and so it is a traffic space but it would be nice to try and fit um, a small console here uh, maybe something with extra storage um, the only issue is that it is a traffic space so you definitely want to measure and make sure that um, you know the console that you choose isn't too large and it's not um, you know obtrusive within the room uh, so this room is right off of the kitchen. Uh, this is the uh, back door to the home that does have a pool in the backyard. So you'll see that we definitely want buyers to see this as a functional space. Uh, with the pool being in the backyard, we could definitely do a bench um, or an entry table with some storage. So we're standing in the master bedroom of this house. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the demographic um, of the potential buyer for this home. This neighborhood will probably be a first or second time home buyer. Um, I'm familiar with the demographic of this neighborhood simply because I live a few blocks away. So that's very fortunate and helpful for me. Um, but so the buyer will probably be a family. Um, small children would be likely. However, um, when we look outside and we see that there is a pool in the backyard. Um, another thing that I'm considering um, is the floor plan of this home. When this home was remodeled, they did the master bedroom on the other side of the home. So it is a split floor plan. All of the children's room would be on the other side. Um, so I think targeting the certain market that we usually would in this neighborhood, we're gonna go a little bit out of the box, go a little bit older with the children than we usually would.
All right, so I just got a call from one of our movers. We have a slight hiccup in the schedule. Um, the stage that was scheduled to go first today, um, we did not have access to the house, though they showed up with a truckload of furniture and could not get in. Uh, they proceeded to do a D stage afterwards, um, but then they were able to get into the house. So now they have to come back to the warehouse, unload the D stage with the first stage furniture on the truck. They're going to load up my furniture as well onto the truck and then they're going to um, drop off both houses, um, my house and Faith's house. So um, it wasn't a huge deal, uh, just, you know, a little um, glimpse into uh, scheduling and um, some issues that we run into every day. So. I cut my hand on it the other day. The, the cut's still there. It's dangerous. Well, we gotta be careful. Yes. Well, I feel so bad, like, putting it back on the shelf. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. These beautiful lampshades. <laughs> yeah, they are no more. It's a shame. It's a shade. It's a shade. Comic yes. <laughs> like, did she hear me? I, I guess it wasn't really that funny. <laughs> This big one has to go into mat, uh, into bedroom three because that's the only place it's going to fit. What's going in the master? Let me get that first. This one. For the record, this never happens to me. <laughs> it never happens to me. There she is. It's true though. It's going in the master. We don't need it on the dolly. Good gracious. 
You want me? I switched out one of the consoles because I thought the color of it would look better in the other room. Um, not thinking of the actual size in my measurements, and so it didn't fit, so I had to put them all back the way I had initially planned to have them. So. <laughs> and now they're mad at me. <laughs> Bye.